Hey, what's happening guys? John the Realtor here. Welcome to my channel at John the Realtor. Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about forbearance, mortgage protection, and how that will affect your values in the future. So stay tuned, because that is happening right now. What's happening everybody? John the Realtor here. So. Uh, again, so today we're going to talk about forbearance, we're going to talk about mortgage protection and moratorium and what that means to you as a homeowner and what that's going to mean as a, a homeowner with the values adjusting on in a shifting market. Um, so obviously COVID hit in March and a lot of things were unpredictable. There was a lot of unknowns and we didn't know what was happening in our world. So uh, what happened was what? The government placed a protection for homeowners and renters and allowed you to take a forbearance, meaning that you can take 90 days and the bank would would allow you to not pay your bills for the 90 days, right? So your mortgage would be um, unpaid for uh, April, May and June or May, June, July, depending on when you started it. And um, you were actually given a second extension as well so a lot of people out there have done one or maybe two forbearances um, and you know that's not including the people that were already behind on their mortgage um, from whatever issues they were having from last year uh, let's say you were already behind for three months and then COVID hit and then you were able to get a forbearance and you thought you know what that's so awesome I can actually not worry so much um, and obviously that's because there was so much worry in the world we didn't know what was happening. People lost their jobs, businesses closed, and so uh, a lot of different things happened. Uh, so what happens now? The protection in the state of California has been extended through January 31st by the governor, and eventually that will be lifted back up, meaning the government will not always have that protection or the forbearance will not always be there. So. As of right now, inventory in the markets are very low, um, meaning that not a lot of people are selling right now. People are staying put. They're not sure where to go. Um, in fact, um, even in the rental market, it's very difficult right now because tenants, some tenants have lost their jobs. They can't pay rent, so they really have nowhere to go either. Um, the unfortunate thing with all of this protection is that as soon as the protection is over and the forbearances go away, the banks are going to ask us homeowners for uh, their money, right? So you owe six months worth of payments, you've had two forbearances, um, or maybe you're nine months behind because of those extra three months in the beginning, uh, and then what? That's an average of anywhere between fifteen to $20,000 that the banks are gonna want up front with interest. So uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is that we don't have, in the most part, that money in the bank to pay our mortgage to bring it current. So a lot of people will most likely try and do try and do uh, loan modifications or other things to try and bring their loans current. Uh, but if the banks are asking for their money, what would you do if you had equity? You would sell your home. Well, in in my case, today versus 2008, most of us have equity. So in 2007 and in 2008, when the market crashed, a lot of people were upside down. A lot of people were um, upside down so much that they just walked away from the homes and they let it go. So th at that point, the market was the lowest it ever was uh, in a long time. And people started buying in 2010, 2011, 2012. Um, you know, you, you buy your home for a fraction of the cost because if uh, the builder lost it or, um, you know, people walked away from it and there was a rental and maybe now they're selling it, you're buying it for a fraction of the cost, right? So well under market. Well, from 2012 to 2020, you have built quite a bit of equity if you've been there for a long time or even for the last two or three to four years, you've built equity in your home. So the difference between 2008 and 2020 is that in 2020, a lot of us have equity now. So with equity in our pocket, the first thing we're gonna think about is, you know what? I don't have the money to pay the bank. 
and I, I don't have the same job I had. So I'm gonna sell my house. So once the lift happens and there's no more protection, as a homeowner, your first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna protect or shield that equity from being lost because you know you have that equity. So your first go-to is gonna to be to sell your home. As of right now, inventory is very low, meaning the demand is very high, but because the supply is not there, it's a seller's market right now. Values are up, rates are still low, everything's going well. But what's gonna happen once the supply doubles or your inventory increases dramatically because now you have so many homeowners that want to sell their property. Well, the amount of buyers isn't going to change, but your supply is going to go up. So now, instead of having multiple offers on the table, you're going to have maybe one or two offers, if even that. And then what's going to happen? You're going to have so much competition that you're going to be forced to drive your price down in order to accept an offer or get an offer to begin with. So what that's gonna do is shift the market downward and it's gonna bring inventory up, it's gonna bring prices down a little bit and you're gonna have a shift. Now I'm not telling you that that's gonna be a fact, I'm not telling you that that, I'm not giving you a number, I'm not doing any of that. But all I'm doing is we're talking about forbearance, mortgage protection and how that may affect you in the future. That the, at any time the supply goes up and the demand goes down, your prices will shift downward, causing your values to drop. So a lot of people have been asking me, well, should I sell my house right now? And the conversation is, yeah, you should, because right now is the time for you to get that equity or get as high of an equity as you can, right? Because once the protection goes away and the millions of people that don't have forbearances that, that think about selling, they're gonna sell their homes. And if you're still on the market or if at that time you decide to sell, you may not get top dollar for your property like you could today. So that's something to think about guys. I wanted to bring this to your attention because a lot of people have, you know, they're listening to the news, they're listening to, um, you know, experts, they're listening to a lot of different things and a lot of different people. Um, but you have to look at it from a homeowner's point of view. And if I was in a position to where I couldn't pay my home, or if I was in a position to where I had a forbearance, you better believe that I would want to sell while I could, unless I'm going to stay. If you're going to stay in your home long term and you're like, you know what, this is my home. I plan to be in it for another, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Then you know what, I'm, it doesn't matter to me because eventually the market's going to bounce back and forth anyway. So I'm just going to stay put and stay where I'm at. But if you've been thinking, you know what, maybe it's time for me to sell, you may want to do that and get the equity that you deserve right now because once that protection gets lifted and once that's gone and everyone else has the idea to sell, that value is going to shift and it may be a small shift and it may be a larger shift. We don't know that. No expert is going to be able to predict that. They're going to predict exactly what I'm talking about, which is, hey, the market's going to shift. This is why it's all supply and demand. So just be cautious. Um, you know, if you have questions, talk to somebody. Uh, if you have um, you know, any concerns and you want to comment, please comment on this video. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this. I'd like to know, um, you know if you've experienced anything like this. Uh, but for now, this is raw real estate. This is what I have today. I hope everyone stays safe out there. I hope everyone out there uh, makes the right decision when it comes to their home, whether that's selling or buying. Um, right now, the rates are great. Still a good time to buy. Values are up. As a seller, you can get the most out of your money right now, today. So if you're gonna sell, right now's the time. But in the meantime, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna have more videos coming up and um, more questions from people that I have that are out there uh, that I'm gonna answer. And uh, for now, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon.